Welcome to this demo. My name is Xiang Hu Lao. Today I will demonstrate how you can use Contour as an ingress controller for your Kubernetes cluster. Let's first talk about what Contour is. Contour is an open source project started by VMware, formerly Heptio. At a high level, Contour is an ingress controller for Kubernetes that works by deploying the Envoy proxy as a reverse proxy and load balancer. And the goal behind Contour is to expand upon the functionality of the existing Ingress API to allow for a richer user experience as well as solving some of the shortcomings in the original Ingress design. Contour introduces a new Ingress API, um, aka Ingress Route, uh, which is implemented via custom resource definition. Please refer to the Contour GitHub site for details on the latest feature and how you can contribute to this great project. Now, let's talk about some of the benefits of Contour. So, Contour leverages Envoy for data plane traffic forwarding. As most of you already know, Envoy is designed by Lyft to solve some of the performance challenges required to scale a large distributed application. Typically, distributed applications are dynamic and constantly scales up and down. So, Real-time programmability is a must to scale a distributed app. By leveraging Contour for control and Envoy as a data plane, you can make real-time updates to your ingress and be assured that established TCP sessions will never reset as a result of a change in application pattern. Contour also scales extremely well. VMware, along with our customers, have performed up to millions of concurrent um, connections. Ingress Controller is the aggregation point for application traffic in and out of a Kubernetes cluster, typically shared by multiple development teams. One of the challenges in a multi-tenant environment is a lack of coordination when you define resources. Most of the application development teams often have, have similar set of requirements that can potentially cause conflicts if not communicated properly. And I will demonstrate in the next slide that when multiple teams are making claims of the same set of resources to an ingress controller, it can often lead to unexpected behaviors. And even worse, we've seen traffic outage as a result of those changes. Contour leverages the concept of delegation to safely support ingress in a multi-team Kubernetes environment. This, de this delegation capability also allows an admin to maintain ownership of an ingress domain, um, secrets, or TLS certificates required to secure um, traffic termination within an admin controlled namespace while giving control or delegate how backend traffic are redirected to a specific development team. Contour also simplifies the configuration required for some of the more advanced use cases, such as low balancing strategies or service waiting. Traditional ingress controllers often use annotation to enable path rewrite to support those use cases. With Contour, you can leverage the same delegation framework to control how much traffic are routed to which service based on administrative policies. I will talk more about that when I do the blue-green upgrade and also service waiting demonstration. So why is delegation so critical for ingress? What are some of the shortcomings of existing Ingress solution? Let's take a look at this through the example I have here. In a multi-team environment, I have two teams, Team A and Team B. They may bo both be hosting a blog site using VMware.com as the host. Team A wants to use Service A, which may be WordPress. Team B may want to use Service B, which could be a completely different application backend. If both ingress controllers are applied, which service is active? The answer is, we're not sure. It's unknown. It depends on a lot of things, and some of which cannot be predicted in advance. And this uncertainty can be extremely dangerous for service availability. We have had customers who have done this in production and uh, unknowingly take down their production service. So Contour is designed to solve those type of multi-team challenges.
Let's see how Contour solved this problem. Contour leverages a concept of delegation to safely satisfy ingress in a multi-team environment in a Kubernetes cluster. This delegation capability is implemented in the form of a ingress route CRD. So the main concept behind this ingress route CRD is really modeled after the concept how things work in DNS. So what we have here is we have this root ingress route, which has authority over VMware.com. And we can pass this authority over to other folks within the cluster. So this example here, team A has authority of VMware.com slash blog. Now, if team B comes along and creates an ingress route of the same VMware.com slash blog, because that route has already been delegated to team A, it will be rejected. Since team A has already been delegated to it, they're already using it. The concept of delegation also allows you to isolate secrets and TLS search to a specific namespace we talked about before. So instead of uh, copying your TLS search into Team A's namespace, you can keep those search as is within a admin control namespace for centralized management. Contour is designed to solve multi-team challenges to deliver more secure and more reliable service. The concept of delegation allows you to implement some pretty cool advanced use cases. There's two of them I'm going to show you today in the demo. The first one is Bluebring Update with near instant switchover. And the second one is what we call upstream weighting that enables you to define relative weights for multiple services. So think of upstream weighting as a way to do canary testing of a new version of an application where you want to send a small fraction of the user traffic to experiment with the new service while routing majority of the existing users to the existing production service. If early feedbacks are positive, you can switch more and more users to the new service. I'm going to be demonstrating both the blue-green upgrade as well as upstream waiting in my demo video. Before I start the actual demo, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of the Contour flow. When you deploy Contour, we will create a L3, L4 load balancer front in the Ingress Envoy. Ingress traffic from the user will flow from the internet to your load balancer, and then your load balancer forwards the traffic to Envoy, and then Envoy reverse proxy the traffic to the back end. At a high level, Contour can be thought of as a translator of Kubernetes API objects to an Envoy configuration. Contour watches the Kubernetes API for ingress and translates them into JSON formats and serves up to Envoy. In turn, Envoy does what it does best, which is directing no traffic. Yeah, how Contour works in a live demo. Here I have a domain defined using NIP.io as the wildcard DNS, and I have delegated the root domain to TMA. TMA have an ingress route defined and routes the root slash to internal service running in TMA's namespace and on port 1112. I am going to now apply the ingress route YAML. You can see that uh, the root domain is active and valid in TMA. And I can navigate to TMA's portal using the hostname defined in the ingress route works from the browser. Let's now switch to Team B. With Team B, I'm going to create an ingress route maps to the same root path in Team B's namespace. Once we apply the YAML, we can see that this ingress route uh, has been rejected and it's considered as orphaned because this path has not been delegated to team B. And traffic will continue to route to team A uninterrupted. If we want team B to have authority over the path, um, we can change our delegation in our YAML to specify team B. 
Once you save and uh, apply the YAML, you can verify that Team B's page is not active. Switch over to Team A's main space. You will see now Team A's ingress route is in orphan status and um, is no longer being delegated to. You switch over to Team B's main space. You will see now the ingress route is active for Team B. Now I'm going to show you a few more advanced scenarios of using ingress route and the delegation to implement blue green upgrade and uh, upstream waiting. Let's first look at the blue green upgrade. TMA has just developed a version two of the service and they would like to switch over from version one to version two with almost zero downtime. Looking at the existing ingress YAML, production service is delegated to blue which is set to version one of the software. Version two of the software is set to green. And we can confirm this by looking into the ingress route using the kubectl. And the blue is set to valid and green is set to orphan status as it is not part of a delegation chain from the root ingress. We can further confirm that both version one and version two of the service has been defined in our namespace. Now we will attempt to switch over to the green deployment version 2 of our software by updating our root ingress delegation to green. Before we trigger the switchover, let's first confirm our service is still running. Now we confirm our service is running fine. Let's apply the updated YAML so we can apply the changes to the delegation to switch from blue to green deployment. You can see that changes take effect almost immediately. Now green deployment is valid and the blue deployment is orphaned. If we switch over to our web console, uh, you can see that application is running on version two. Let's take a look at our last demo, upstream waiting. Instead of blue green updates, I can route a small percentage of traffic to my new service by assigning weights to version one and version two of my software. Based on user feedback, I can route more and more traffic to version two and eventually switch over everyone. Looking into the YAML, version one and version two of my service are both listed under the ingress route. And the 50% of the traffic are assigned to version one and the remaining 50% are going to version 2. Once you apply the YAML, you can use the standard kubectl commands to validate the traffic weight. A quick note, the traffic percentages are completely arbitrary. It's perfectly too okay to use different combinations. And I can validate from my browser that the traffic are being distributed evenly across the endpoints. This concludes my demo. I hope you find this video to be very useful and I encourage you to visit the GitHub Contour repo today to try out Contour in your Kubernetes deployment and also to contribute to this great project today.